To introduce our laureates, please welcome to the stage Lynn Taliento, board member of Water.org and senior advisor at McKinsey and Company. When I first met Gary, I don't think I ever expected I would be here on this stage talking to you all. And I'm going to tell you how I met him, because I think it might say a little bit about why we're all here tonight. Um, so I get a phone call in my office at McKinsey, a cold call, just ring, ring, transfer, Lynn, hello. Doesn't usually happen, right? Someone makes an appointment. and Hey, it's Gary Y, blah, blah, blah. Would you, he talks to me about Water.org, says, would you ever consider joining our board? What? I, I don't know you. I don't know what Water.org is. I said, I, I can't join boards because I was leading McKinsey's social sector practice at the time, which meant I served tens of nonprofits every year. I couldn't sit on a board. I'd be conflicted. And I said, I just can't. And he said, well, so he, he quickly changed tack. And he said, well, what if you just join us for a little strategy session, just a very short session in New York, and you could just come give us some ideas. By the end of the call, not only had I agreed to go to that, but I had agreed to host it in the McKinsey offices, right? So <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting a sense of how this guy works. Midwestern, nice guy, smart. And suddenly, I'm in New York in a meeting that I'm hosting now in the offices. OK, great, super. So we sit down. We start talking about whatever it is, water.org. I had no idea. And it turns out that they had just discovered this idea of water credit, which I think it was explained. but. The idea is instead of digging wells, which is what we'd been doing, I can say we now, um, which is we called it direct service. We'd dig a well and we'd get the community to manage it. We had discovered water credit, which means we could just use a little bit of philanthropic capital to then get institutions to make loans to women, mostly women, so that they could get access to water. So we didn't have to pay for the whole well. I'm going, oh, that's interesting. This is pretty smart stuff. And I'm kind of trying to understand it. And I'm getting pretty much schooled on philanthropic capital costs, finance costs from none other than Matt Damon. <laughs> and I'm like, look at the guy. He comes in, by the way, to the meeting, you know, cap on, like, no security, just chill, sitting in the corner. And he starts telling me about finance, about, like, philanthropic costs and leverage and how we could do this. And I'm hearing, remember the line in Goodwill Hunting where he sort of, you know, tells off the guy in the bar and the kid goes, yeah, my boy's wicked smart. I'm like, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, this boy is wicked smart. OK, fine, he's wicked smart. So we're sitting there, and then we're talking about, OK, wow, we've got this great idea. We can reach millions of people. I'm going, OK, I buy that, millions of people. And I turn to Gary, and I say, what's our budget right now? What's our annual budget right now? And he goes, $7 million. Millions of people we're going to reach with $7 million. I'm like, so not only are these guys wicked smart, they're wildly aspirational, potentially delusional, right? <laughs> and my second thought was, these are my people. These are my people. So I was completely caught up in what they were doing, joined the board. And since then, we have reached more than 60 million people. Yes. <laughs> so, so how did we do that? I think there are three things about both Matt and Gary that are very special. And the first one is this sort of relentless commitment. They will go anywhere and do anything to make the work happen, to convince you that the work matters. Right? There is no stopping these guys. They'll do it without us. They literally will do it. Gary tried to do it alone for a while, found Matt. Now the two of them will literally do anything. I have never experienced this kind of deep commitment, so steadfast. They will not stop. Um, I will say Matt uh, also will do anything to try to tell you. They will tell you anything about the water crisis. How can you commit? He's done a toilet strike. He's convinced some of the biggest brands in the world to support us, Stella, Bank of America. And then they, you know, rather than say, oh, we're going to fix the website, we're going to work on marketing, they actually wrote a book. They wrote a whole book about the, about the work that we're doing. It's called The Worth of Water. How many people do you know with that level of commitment would actually take the time to tell the complete story of this work and do the hard work of writing a book to let you know what it is that we're doing and how important it is? So please get on the bus, because they're not going to stop. They will keep 
telling you this and trying to convince you of this, so please join us because they are not ever going to give up. The second thing about them that I think is really special is what I call humble genius. Um, they are wicked smart. I mean, Gary has three engineering degrees. Matt was at Harvard before he became a famous actor. He's also an actor, a writer, a producer, a director. He does it all, right? So very, very intelligent, genius folks. But they never believe they have the answer, ever. They never believe they have the answer. They just keep asking questions. Curiosity, they go, they push. They listen to the women that we serve. That's how they figured out water credit, right? You're not just a drinking, Dylan, you know, uh, digging wells, digging wells. They're like, wait a minute. These women are already paying for water. We could give them a loan. That's how they solved it. Then, but did they stop there? No. They're like, wait a minute. These institutions that are making loans need cheaper capital. Well, let's start an asset management organization. So then they created a new organization. Oh, great. Did they stop there? You think you could stop there, right? You're, you've invented water credit. You've got an asset management organization to create, to give them more capital. No, no, no. Two weeks ago at our board meeting, we created yet another organization. Because guess what? If you want to invest in projects in the countries that we care about to actually improve the situation of water and sanitation, those projects aren't readily available. They're not ready to be invested in. So guess what we're doing? We're creating a project management organization called Water Connect. They continue to innovate, new idea after new idea after new, and it is not just Gary. These two, if you hear them talk, it's insane. They connect and spin up and they listen and feel what they're seeing and they come up with new ideas. So I think that kind of genius is incredibly special. The third thing is the one that I think is the most important which is um, what I would call love, it's community. It's a, they know what matters most. Um, I think it's rare to find two people who actually do know what matters most, which is, which is relationships and community, and that we're all in this together. Um, I think their moms taught them that. Um, I think they exhibit that in everything they do. They care about the women that we work with. They see them as agents of their own destinies. They don't see them as people to help who are over there. They care so much. They also live their lives with integrity. That belief in relationships and that faith in community, they live their lives fully that way every day, which is why Matt's like the most boring movie star in the world. The paparazzi have given up. They've just given up. They don't even follow him around anymore because he's living his life with integrity. And Gary, you know, we're not sure what you do on your long walks through the mountain, but we're sure it's probably not worthy of paparazzi covering you. Um, but I do think that having two individuals who are that soulful, that caring, and that living their lives with that level of integrity means that we are able to attract some of your partners in this room. You know that, you see that, you see the trust, you see the way that they operate and the way that they work together. And I will close by saying that the two of them together have built I think one of the most extraordinary partnerships I've ever seen. Um, it's powerful, it's genius, right? It's relentless, they will come for you and you will be part of this at some point, right? They will not stop. But they also, they love each other. Um, and I think when you are privileged to be around two extraordinary people who also love each other and love the work, it's a real gift. So with that, I'd like to welcome you up on stage to receive your honor. Thank you so much, Nana. Oh. That was so sweet. Thank you.